Okay, on this problem it says, at a particular college, 10% of the students major in business and are required to take statistics. So, the probability of business is 10%, and also the probability of business and statistics is 10%, because all of the students in business have to take statistics. Then it also says, of the students not majoring in business, 20% of them still have to take a statistics course. So, given that they're not business, NB for not business, 20% of them still have to take statistics. So we write this for probably a statistics given not business equals 20%. What we're looking for what is the probability that a student has to take a statistics course at this particular college. So we're just looking for what's the probability of statistics. So a little bit different type of problem. Well, um, let's get some things here. First of all, if the probability of business is 10%, the probability of not business is 90%. And we can calculate. Um, the probability of not business and statistics by multiplying these two things together. Well, these two things are given to us, and that's 90% not business, and the probability of statistics given not business is 20%, and multiplying these two together, I get 18%. So this is 18%, and we already know that this is 10% right here, so the probability of statistics is these two added together, or 28%. You can think of it this way. You are either a business uh, major in taking statistics, or you're not a business major in taking statistics. So we already knew what this was. So anything remaining that needed calculated was this right here. And to get this, I had to multiply those two things together. Add them up, you get 28%. This is a similar type of thing right here. 21 says 70% of hidden explosive devices are not found and therefore blow up. You can read through the problem and it's either uh, one variable is found or not found. So here's not found and here's found, and either blows up or not blows up. So again, similar to the last problem, just like business and statistics were 10%, and so was probably a business. Well, here the probability of business is uh, probability of not being found is 70%, and also the probability of not found and blowing up is 70%. So this slot right here is 70%, and so is the total. That's because um, all of them that are not found blow up. Just like everybody in business takes statistics on the last problem. So this is 70%. Makes Automatically makes this one zero. If they're not found, they will blow up. So none of them don't blow up if they're not found. So anyway, this says, um, now continuing on, it says, of the hidden explosive devices that are found, 10% still blow up. So of the ones that are found, given that they're found, what's the probability that they blow up? 10%. And then it says, uh, what is the probability that a hidden explosive device blows up? So we're looking for the probability of blow up, going across here. There's only two ways it could blow up. It's either not found and blows up, which we know that's 70%, or it's found and still blows up. Maybe the person couldn't defuse it. So this is the bit we need to calculate here, found and blow it up. Well, found and, and blows up is equal to the probability of found times the probability of blown up given found. And those things are given to us here. So um, the probability of found is 30% because the probability of not found is 70%. One minus that is 30%. And then the probability of blown up given found uh, was given to us to be 10%. So taking the 30% times the 10% is 3%. So right here, 3%. And then add these up, and you get the total probability of blowing up to be 73%. OK, here's one. 22 says, add a college, 60% of incoming nursing students are female, 40% are male. So label those right there. Recent records indicate 70% of incoming nursing students will graduate with a BSN degree. So probability to graduate is 70%, and if we needed it, the probability that they don't graduate is 30%. Then this line here, 80% of the entering female students uh, will graduate with a BSN degree. So the probability of graduate, given female, is 80%. And now it says, from all the entering nursing students at this particular college, what is the probability of random selecting a female nursing student or a nursing student that will graduate? So this is what we're looking for, probably a female or graduate. And that's from the previous section where you add the two up and you subtract off the intersection. Probably female plus probably graduate minus probably female and graduate. We know these two separate things from up above, but we don't know the probability of F and G. Well, we don't know if female and graduate are independent of each other, so we can calculate that by doing the probability of female times the probability of graduate given female. Now, it could also be calculated by doing the probability of graduate times the probability of female given graduate, but I don't have that information. This information I have up there, see, female 
graduate given female. I got it. So multiplying those together, I get 0.48. And now substituting that in right here, we have the probability of female is 60%, probability of graduate 70%, minus what we just figured out, 0.48, and you get 0.82. And that would be the answer to that problem. Now, you could have a more difficult problem, like for example, if it would ask something uh, that you need a table for, like this one. So maybe you might want to know if the percentage of females that graduate is greater or less than the percentage of males that will graduate. So we know the percentage of graduate given female, this would be the percentage of females that graduate, that was given to be 80% up here on this problem. So let's get the percentage of males that graduate. So what formula ties this together? Well, G and M. So the probability of M and G is equal to the probability of M times the probability of G given M. Well, filling in our table, we just figured out earlier that this was 0.48 right up here. And the probability of graduate is is 70%. So the probability of male and graduate, just subtract these, and you get 0.22. So that's the probability of male and graduate is 0.22. The probability of male, we were given to be 40%. And then here's my unknown. So solving that for the unknown, I would divide both sides by the 0.4. And 0.22 divided by 0.4 is 0.55. So in other words, 55% of the male gra males graduated and 80% of the females graduated. So the females have a higher uh, percent of their of their uh, of them to of them graduating, a higher percentage of females graduating than males graduating. If we want to know something like what percentage of graduates are male, well, that is written this way: probability of male given that they graduate. What percentage of graduates? Are males okay? Well, still that's the two same variables, males and graduates. So let's do a formula with that. Males and graduate is equal to the probability of graduate times this thing that we're looking for. We already know that that males and graduate is 0.22. Graduate is 70%. So solving this for the unknown, we just take 0.22 divided by 0.7 and get 0.314, and that would be the answer to the problem. Um, <clears throat> what percentage of graduates are female? Well, if 31.4% of the graduates are male that we just figured out, then subtract this from 100%, you get 68.6% of the graduates are female. We can check that on a formula. The probability of female graduate is the probability of graduates times the probability of female given graduate, and that's what we're actually looking for here on this problem. So this is 0.48, this is 0.7, and when you divide, you get the same answer as we got here by subtracting from 100%. So that's extra problems in that area, but they're good ones. And then this one is not bad at all. The last problem here, a group of students were asked if they own uh, their own car. Of the 50 freshmen that were sampled, 30 own their own car. From the 30 sophomores that were sampled, 10 own their own car. Just make up a table. Um, we had uh, 50 total freshmen, and how many own their own car? 30, so that means that 20 don't. And then of the sophomores, uh, uh, there was 30, and how many own their own car? 10, so that means 20 don't. And then they're just looking for this. Uh, find, the probability that, uh, find the probability that the student is a freshman given the student owns their own car. So this is out of everybody that owns their own car. So the bottom number is 40. And how many of them are freshmen? 30. So it's 30 out of 40. And the next video picks up on question 24. And we'll stop it there.